Hi, I'm Fran. This is the GoDirect 3-axis magnetic field sensor. Don't worry though, it says 3-axis on it, but when you turn it on and connect it to graphical analysis, you'll only see one channel measuring one direction of magnetic field, and it's easy to use. So we're going to use it to take a look at some magnetic fields, uh, starting with this one. And here I have a cow magnet. I have drawn the magnetic field around the cow magnet and labeled it with north and south. So first I'm going to turn on the magnetic field sensor by pressing this button. Then the red light flashes, showing that the sensor is ready to connect. I'll choose sensor data collection on graphical analysis and using the ID number on the back of the sensor, find that sensor in my list in graphical. Choosing connect, once it's connected, not only is it connected to measure in the direction of the wand, but the blinking light turns to green. I'm going to click done. And since what I'd like to do first is just use this to check the direction of the magnetic field and which pole is which on the magnet, I'm going to switch my view to the meter view. So now, if I line up the direction of the sensor wand with the direction that the magnetic field lines are pointing towards the south pole, I get a positive number on the screen, showing that this is indeed the south pole of the magnet. When I move the sensor around so that it is pointing towards the north pole, now the magnetic field line is pointing opposite the direction that the wand is pointing in. Since the directions are opposite each other, we get a negative reading on the meter screen. I can use this to test the polarity of other magnets. For example, perhaps you've seen the experiment where you take a nail and you use a magnet to magnetize that nail. I'll test this by picking up a paper clip. So you can see that yes, this nail is magnetized, but which end is the north pole and which end is the south pole? In order to test that, I can just put my sensor right up to the end of the nail. Since I'm getting a negative value, the head of the nail, the place where you hit it with the hammer, is the uh, north pole. And the pointy end gives me a positive value, so that's the south pole. I can also use this on magnets that I found in a box in my closet. Uh, don't know how long they've been in the closet. When I hold the sensor up to the end that's labeled with an N, you can see I'm getting a positive number. So that means that this magnet that I got from my closet is actually mislabeled. You may want to check out the magnets in your closet. So in addition to figuring out the direction of the magnetic field, you can also use this for a number of experiments. So I'm going to do an experiment with this. I'm going to remove the magnet from my paper and place it on the table. And what I'd like to look at is the magnetic field as I take the sensor and move it along. So in order to do that, I'm going to need a ruler, which I'll tape to the table that, so that it doesn't move. I'm going to use the position of the magnetic field sensor to determine where I'm going to measure the magnetic field and obtain a graph. So I'm going to go back to the graph screen, one graph. I'm going to change the data collection mode so that I can use events-based, events with entry. I'm going to have my event name be position which I'll measure in centimeters. And then before I actually start taking measurements, I'd like to make sure that I am making my measurements without the influence of magnets other than this one, and also without the influence of the Earth's magnetic field. So I'm actually going to 
temporarily take away this magnet and then zero the sensor reading. So that's going to eliminate the Earth's magnetic field from the measurements that this magnetic field sensor takes. After I've zeroed it, I can return the magnet to its place, and now I can begin my experiment. In all cases, when I measure the position of the magnetic field sensor, I'm looking at these dots that are on the top and side of the sensor. That shows the location of the actual chip that's making the measurements. So I'm going to start at the zero position. Zero centimeters, and I'll keep that point. Then I'll move this to the one centimeter location. Select keep, enter one, and keep that point. I'm going to go all the way to the end of the ruler. And there we are with 30 measurements. Let's take a look at the graph. I'm going to change the appearance of the graph to make it a little bit easier by adding lines to the graph. So now you can see that the shape of the graph is positive for the first bit, is negative in the middle, and then is positive at the end. Does this match what we know about magnetic fields? Well, let's compare to our magnetic field chart. I started taking measurements with the field sensor in this area relative to the location of the magnet. And you can see that the magnetic field line is oriented kind of at an angle to the actual wand of the sensor. Uh, however, that angle is pointed more that direction than it is that direction. So you get a little bit of a positive reading here. As we move this along towards the center of the magnet, the fields are very strongly in the opposite direction that the wand is pointing. So that's where we get our strong negative values here. And then, as we bring the wand all the way past the magnet, again, the magnetic field line is crossing at an angle, but this time the angle is again more in the direction of the wand rather than in the direction against the wand. So we get another positive value and not as great as the negative value from the center. So you can relate what you get in the measurements directly to what you know the magnetic field looks like. There are many more experiments that you can do with this sensor. For more information, visit our website.